Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI Crudel. In this video, we'll be using the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI Crudel. So back to the technical analysis. Right now, WTI Crudel is down 5.5% on the 1-hour chart. We're currently oversold on the 1-hour side. We approach to negative MACD and we found temporary support on the 200 moving average, this green line. If we extend that further on the four hour chart, we also are resting on support, the 50 day, or I should say 50 moving average on the four hour chart, this yellow line. We are so resting on that level as well. And we start to see we may approach to negative four hour MACD. If we extend that further on the daily chart, and at the moment, WTI crude oil is resting around $32.52 and right now we are also resting on the 9 day moving average, this blue line and if we do manage to break all three support levels on the 1 hour, 4 hour and daily chart I do see a possible support level being the 18 day moving average, this purple line and that is around a price of I would say $20 eight dollars and twenty cents and those previous resistance level that dated back to april 3rd and since we're above resistance that now act as our support so if we do manage to fall lower that price movement to the downside it is roughly around 13 percent or 13.4 percent to the downside as for resistance if we do manage to climb higher i do see the I do see the 100 day moving average, this orange line, acting as our resistance at around a price of $36.74. And from where currently are at to the upside or to resistance, that price movement is roughly around 12.7%. So now let's examine the day by day probability model for USL. This is uh, ETF there. ETF ticker symbol that accounts for Contango and crude oil futures. So as the days progress to the seventh day, also one thing to note, we only found one model and the sample size is small, so it's not statistically significant, so do keep that in mind. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 100% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between negative 5.6% to negative 9.5%. Do keep in mind we only have we're basing it on one model the sample size is small and it is not statistically significant so again take that in consideration now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for wti crude oil so we have one day out that will be a thursday two days out will be a friday and so on three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so how did we find this model? We, we compared it to the current trend. This blue line is the current trend that we're in right now and overlapping it is a trend in the past that happens to be the best match. So we have our current trend right here. And this trend right here dates back to February 6th to March 23rd, 2009. So let's compare to both trends. So we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. We were back to the mean, rested along the middle Bollinger Band for a couple of days and then we moved on higher to touch the upper Bollinger Band. So now the trend in question, we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, rested along the middle Bollinger Band for several days, and then we continue to increase higher to touch the upper Bollinger Band. So what we have here is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly same. So the model, that we just examined was again February 6th to March 23rd, 2009. Back then, WTI crude oil was down roughly around 8.4%. So if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation right here. So let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model. So on the current trend that we're in, we're only down 1.4% from monthly high up 27% from monthly low, up 4.5% from 10 simple, 10 simple moving average, and up 
0.5% from 20 simple moving average. We don't have 50 simple moving average because we're only examining a 30 day trend. So now let's compare it to trend and pass. So back then it was only 0% from monthly high and it was up 24% from monthly low, up 10% from 10 simple moving average and up 15% from 20 simple moving average. So among the two trends there are technical similarities. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.